Good afternoon. This is Universal News Media. Today is March 6, 2018. Today we will see lots of planets and moons of various sizes and colors. All of the images you are about to see were obtained within the past 24 to 48 hours from the Federal Aviation Weather Cams scattered across Alaska and Canada. All of the videos are in time-lapse mode with each frame equal to 10 minutes. Our first video was taken from the South Facing Weather Cam located in Sitka, Alaska. We often see this fast rotating crater pocked planet from all over Alaska and Canada. The oddly shaped reflection of the eclipse concealment jet is visible at the bottom left of the screen. There are several different types of concealment jets depending on what needs to be hidden. These will be discussed in detail later. Finally, the pink planet fades into transparency from the atmospheric chemicals. Here are some moons at the 8 o'clock position of the Sun as viewed from the southeast facing weather cam located in Puntia Lake, Alaska. The black dot on the Sun indicates that it is in eclipse mode. This black dot is not actually on the Sun. It is installed on the flashlight Sun also called a sun simulator. The flashlight sun is a very intense light source installed between the Earth and the sun, much closer to the Earth. Eclipsing planets pass in front of the real sun but behind the flashlight sun, so that it's not obvious an eclipse is occurring. The black dot is an actual piece of equipment and not a camera anomaly or a lighting issue. It reflects upon water surfaces in many of the FAA camera photos, such as this one from Good News Bay in Alaska. A planet is in front of the real sun, but behind the flashlight sun. The reason we see several planets is because a prism is installed with the flashlight sun system to further obscure objects from public view. Another eclipse has just taken place in this video from the southeast facing weather cam located in Thorn Bay, Alaska. The planets in the upper left corner of the screen are difficult to see, even with contrast enhanced. Our next video shows an eclipse getting ready to take place with two large planets to the right of the sun. Look very closely because technology has blurred these objects, making them difficult to see. Additionally, they are made nearly transparent from the atmospheric chemicals. One more concealing feature of the flashlight sun is its ability to engulf nearby celestial objects in glare, rendering them non-viewable. The flashlight sun takes on a very contorted shape in order to accomplish this. Notice how the flashlight sun's glare in the upper left corner reaches up into the corner of the screen. That's because there is another planet there that it is attempting to engulf in glare. However, the sun is traveling to the right, so the glare concealment leaves the corner. This video from the southeast facing weather cam in Sisters Island, Alaska shows a very large planet just coming out of an eclipse. The flashlight sun's glare makes it difficult to see even with contrast boosted. The planet then fades into transparency from the atmospheric chemicals. The southwest facing camera in Sisters Island shows some very odd chemical clouds to the right of the sun. We know an eclipse is occurring because the odd-shaped reflection of the eclipse concealment jet comes into view in the lower right corner, preparing to line itself up with the black dot and the planet for optimum concealment. The atmospheric chemicals are very successful at hiding the planet in this eclipse because it leaves the sun looking strange, but we don't see the planet. A striped planet is just finishing an eclipse in the southwest facing camera at Peterson Hill, Alaska. A reflection of the eclipse concealment jet is visible as it aligns itself with the black dot and the planet. Afterward, the planet fades into transparency from the atmospheric chemicals. In Huna, Alaska, 
A very faint but enormous shadow can be seen on the right side of the screen. Look closely. As the flashlight sun moves closer, it actually lights up this gigantic reddish tan planet. None of these pictures are edited except for the ones showing a contrast view for better viewing. This planet appears to be large enough to effect ocean tides and tectonic plate movements. The objects we have just seen are all part of an approaching celestial system. Many people ask when the system will make its closest pass to our Earth. A general indication of time is provided in the following pages of text. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe.